Right, so hello and welcome back to another video on Arthur TV. Today, we're looking at part six of Big Ed's journey on 90 Day The Single Life. So last time out, we looked at Ed and Liz's first night together in the same bed. We caught up with Big Ed and Liz the morning after their first night together, where Ed revealed that they had slept together not once, but twice. After a disgustingly detailed description of the night's events, the pair began getting ready to go to one of Big Ed's friends' wedding ceremony. But before they headed off, Big Ed told Liz that he wanted to be able to introduce her as his girlfriend. Liz happily agreed to enter into a relationship, but in typical Big Ed style, he then pushed her even further and said that he also wanted for her to meet his daughter, Tiffany. Liz instantly recoiled at the suggestion, telling Ed that him bringing it up made her feel anxious and that she thought it was too soon to be discussing her meeting the family. Despite the awkward end to the morning, the pair went off to the wedding and had a great time together. But now the time has finally come. It's been two weeks since the wedding and Liz has finally agreed to meet Ed's daughter. Big Ed and Liz have just arrived in Las Vegas where they'll be staying at a hotel ahead of their dinner with Tiffany the following day. But before we get to the meeting, Big Ed is itching to update us on how well things are going between him and Liz. Liz and I are getting along very well physically. Let me just say that. My favorite type of kissing now is when Liz kind of chews on my top lip and my bottom lip. It's really sexy. I like that. And our love making is off the charts. You know, there are times when I'm watching this show when I genuinely think the producers want us to suffer as much as humanly possible. I was just about okay with them letting him say that they're getting along well physically, but who let him continue and start talking about his favorite type of kissing? Like, we know they've got a freaky private life, but we heard all about it in the last video. Some of us will never be able to look at a peach again the same way because of it. There's a huge difference between, you know, having sex and being in love with somebody. And I'm so excited right now because I'm beginning to believe in my heart that Liz is the real deal for me. He's a bit of an all or nothing kind of guy, so I don't really know how much any of this actually means. Like, I think he'd fall in love with a shaved chimpanzee if it gave him the time of day. So I think we can take this one with a pinch of salt. He definitely seems happier than we've seen him before though, so maybe he really is fooling for her. At first, Liz was not receptive, but we've talked about it. And she wants the same thing that I want. She wants us to all get along. And she knows it's important to me. She wasn't receptive at first, but then they talked about it and she came around. Kind of sounds like he pressured her into it and kind of forced the situation a bit. But either way, it's Liz putting in effort again, as always. So I hope he lets her know how much he appreciates it. How are you feeling? You're going to meet the daughter. The daughter. I don't know. I don't know what to think or expect. I. I appreciate you wanting me to be here. It's just faster than what I would have imagined. That's also a little nerve wracking, being the same age, so. You're not even 29, I know, so. I love how she sat there saying how anxious and nervous she feels about being the same age as his daughter. And he's just like, ha, you're not even the same age as her. You're three years younger. <laughs> like way to make her feel better about things, you massive idiot. I almost lost my daughter over Rose, and I don't want to go through that again. The best advice I can give you is be yourself. You have a good aura about you. Like, you, you're not intimidating. You're very independent. You know, the age, for me, it's a number. Oh, God, here he goes again. You know, there are two ways you can tell someone's a predator. They're either on a register or they go around saying things like age is just a number. In the last video, we spoke quite a lot about how often Ed repeats mistakes, but he also has a tendency to repeat things that he knows he shouldn't say. Like Liz literally said after their goat yoga date that she doesn't believe in the whole age is just a number thing. So he's really not helping by bringing it up again here. She's probably only just gotten over the age difference herself and is now just worrying about Tiffany. But saying that is just gonna make her think twice about it all, all over again and probably make her think that he doesn't really listen to her. I want my daughter's approval because I've never in my life felt the way I feel about Liz. I've been down the tough 
love road in life. I've been single for 28 years. You know, I met someone in the Philippines that I thought was the it and it didn't work out. What the hell is the it? Is that just how you say the one when you view your partners as objects? I'm ready to be happy and I want the people in my life that mean the most to me to want me to be happy. That's it. So he doesn't want them to be happy. He just wants them to want him to be happy. You know, I think Ed's got really lucky with Liz because I actually think that's exactly what she wants too. Liz actually came out recently and said that the producers cut a really emotional scene out from the last episode where after their first kiss, they basically stayed up really late in the hotel talking about their love languages. And I really think that she will have said that hers is taking care of her partner. Like even just in that last scene, it's a small detail, but she was holding his hand and leading him into the hotel. And she does that kind of thing quite a lot. I think that's probably why she doesn't care quite so much when Big Ed fails to step up and take care of her when he should. Like when she turned up to his house in tears after bumping into her ex on a night out. But I get what he means. I think he just wants Tiffany to accept their age difference if she sees that Liz is the one that makes him happy. My fear is Tiffany doesn't approve and that's that. You know, this will be the very first girlfriend that Tiffany has ever met in person. And, you know, here she is, so. I think knowing that I'm the first girlfriend she's ever met just made me nervous again. Oh my goodness, he's actually so bad at reassuring her, it's almost comical. I don't know what's more entertainingly baffling to watch. Him not thinking about what he's saying and making things worse like he did just then, or him actively trying to make things better and still making it worse like he does here. Starting to tense up. <laughs> I know. You gotta relax. You two are the same. Tiffany. Not that that's not a bad thing to hear from you, but it is a little bit weird are that you, you keep saying that. Okay. Oh, you're the same. This is like some weird reverse Electra complex where the father wants the daughter. Freud and Jung must be cringing in their graves right now. If there's an afterlife and they're somehow blessed with access to Arthur TV, I bet they're looking at each other right now being like, for goodness sakes, not another one. Thank you. Here she is. Hello. Hi. Hi. Tiffany, this Tiffany. is Liz. Liz nice Beth. to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. When did you fly in? Last night, in the hotel. Where we're staying is great. And we have the biggest suite you've ever seen. Oh, she did not like that one. To be fair, she's probably thinking like, great, you're spending my inheritance playing sugar daddy with someone younger than your own child. It's probably not the best thing to say right off the bat when he's trying to get her to like Liz, but she has come in with a frosty attitude. Walking in and seeing my dad and Liz, it's a lot. I'm afraid for my dad to get his heart broken again. Rose and Liz are similar. They both have younger kids and they're both younger than me. But Liz looks older than me. She looks rugged. Botox does wonders. Jesus Christ, the claws are out. What did Liz do to deserve that? Literally everything she said there was judgmental. She's sending for her like a jealous ex looking at her former boyfriend's new girlfriend. It's so weird. I'm not sure the rugged look is any worse than the Michael Jackson look either. I thought she came in with a cold stern look at first, but she's probably just numbed all her facial muscles so much that she can't even move them anymore. Why is she suggesting that someone 28 years old needs Botox? Liz is a single mother who works full time as a restaurant manager. She looks fine. I mean, I'd be mad too if my dad was busy noncing on primetime TV for the second year on the bounce, but she should focus her energy on him, not poor Liz. I'll just break that. This is awkward. It is oh, awkward. It, it is. I mean, this is the first time I'm actually meeting a girlfriend, really. My concern is with the age gap and the fact that you are younger than me. Not by much, but still, like, why do you, why are you dating somebody that's younger than your daughter? Like, that's weird. She has every right to be concerned, but she is going about this in such a weird way. Like most of us think the age gap is weird, but she's channeling a lot of it onto Liz, who hasn't really done a lot wrong. It must be so uncomfortable for Liz, because she will 100% be able to tell that Tiffany hasn't come in with an open mind. So if she's not even going to give her a chance, what is the point in her even being there? 
But I was telling her that you guys are like the same. I'm gonna say that weirds me out. That's just awkward as fuck. That is the last thing I want to hear. Like, I don't want to hear, oh yeah, my girlfriend is like you. It's just so fucking weird. Okay, all right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Got it. All right, I'm with Tiffany on this one. That is actually such an unbelievably weird thing to say about your daughter and the girl you're sleeping with in front of both of them. Especially when they're the same age and look so similar. I mean, we joke about him making a mistake, apologizing for it, and then making the same mistake a few days later. But Liz told him it was a weird thing to say when they first sat down. And before the starters have even arrived, he said it again. It's exactly what we said before about him saying things that he knows he shouldn't say. It's like he's constantly trying to achieve a personal record on how quickly he can mess up. Well, I just want you to know, like, I don't blame you for how you're feeling. Yeah. Just because you only imagine if that was me, I, I probably wouldn't be happy with it, is what I'm saying. If, it, if, it, if the tables were turned and that was me, I would not be okay with it. I just know how I feel at the moment and how I feel, how I've been feeling towards him. That's it. I'm not Rose. Um, I do care for him. You know, the more we see of Liz, the more I like her. She could so easily have risen to Tiffany's tone or even been like, it's kind of none of your business. But she sat there and empathized with her and basically said like, I know how you feel. I felt the exact same way about it at first. But at the end of the day, I really care about your dad. And ultimately, that's all that matters. It's just such a genuine response. She's actually too good for the both of them. I feel like we do balance each other out in certain aspects. Sometimes I feel like I'm way more mature than he is in some aspects. And I actually feel like he could kind of calm me down and loosen up in a lot of aspects. She's a smart girl. She's smarter than me in so many ways. You have no idea. Not saying much for someone who thought that love was a business transaction and that a dog was a feline. But it's nice to see him finally stick up for Liz here. My concern with, with being younger is you're at one phase in your life and he's winding down somewhat on his. Like I'm you're not winding down, what do you mean? I don't want to be old, I can't, you know, I, I have never met anyone that's my age that I get along with. That's probably because he's never given anyone his age a chance. In the two years that he's been on TV, he's only ever actively pursued younger girls. Like if Liz was a 54 year old manager at his favorite restaurant, he probably wouldn't have looked at her twice. He also literally sets his dating app so that he can't match anyone over the age of 48. How's he supposed to know if he can get along with people his own age if they can't even start a conversation with him? This is your first serious relationship in like ever, really, since mom, I mean, the other one was Rose, which that situation, I mean, I didn't agree with at all. Yeah. And that totally backfired. I know how you are. You're like all in, balls to the wall, let's go. Oh, gross. Her electric complex has her talking about his bulls now. This is getting too weird. She is right, though. A lot of the things that Ed's saying about Liz, he said about Rose as well. I mean, he was convinced that she was the one, and she was outwardly disgusted by his mere presence. He's definitely a lot closer with Liz, and the relationship seems far more reciprocal, but it's still only been four weeks. So it's still pretty intense for him to be saying that she's the one, and that he wants to be spending the rest of his life with her. At some point, it's gonna run its course. You could potentially get your heart broken. I don't know, you just gotta, you gotta slow down. <sighs> she spent this entire dinner being so negative, and I still don't know what she actually wants him to do. Like, he's obviously not gonna break up with Liz now. She might as well just accept it and see what happens. I think she's just putting unnecessary strain on their relationship and getting off on such a bad foot with someone who could eventually be her stepmother. She definitely gets her maturity levels from her dad because this was such an immature way to go about it all. And it hasn't done any good for any of them. Right now, Liz and I are on the same page. But when we started dating, she said, age is a factor. And it's very scary for me to hear Tiffany you tell me the age gap might make things difficult because I love Liz. And I know in my heart, I want a future together. Sadly, that future is looking bleak. 
because apparently the very next day Liz split up with Ed. Whether it was not wanting to be a part of a toxic family or this made her realize that the age difference was too big to overcome or whether it was just the straw that broke the camel's back, this seems like it could be the end of the road for Ed and Liz. Whether he'll be able to get her to change her mind or not, we're just gonna have to find out. Well, that is unfortunately all we have time for today. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to make sure you catch the next one, make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss out. As always, the links to my Instagram, Twitter, and other social media will be down below. So feel free to come drop me a follow to keep up with the channel, help me decide what future videos to make, or just say hi in between uploads. I'd also just like to give a very quick shout out to my Patreon supporters for supporting me and the channel over on Patreon. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.